Our lats take a beating in most calisthenics-based training, whether it's through being the engines that drive movement in an exercise like pull-ups, or through the foundation they create in maintaining stability in movements like dips, which means looking after them needs to be an important aspect of our training. Now, the best way we can do this is by having a good base level of conditioning, typically provided by a higher rep work where we take the lats through a wide range of motion. This will ensure not only good blood flow to the muscle belly, but also to the connective tissue as well. That being said, stretching the lats gives them a much needed reprieve from the demands that typical bodyweight training places on them. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. What are the best stretches for the lats? Let's get into it. How you doing Kelly Crowd? Welcome back to the channel that makes calisthenics simple. The lats make up the bulk of the back, running from various points in the spine, inserting into the upper arm, and their main job is to adapt, medially rotate, and extend the arm. So it follows that the best lat stretch would need to reverse these movements to pull each end of the lats further apart, which, put simply, would involve some aspect of shoulder flexion, getting our arms up overhead. And we have two stretches that do this very well with differing levels of intensity, and the first one of those is the hanging cobra stretch. The hanging cobra stretch is extremely simple to get your head around and is actually quite relaxing. We want to get some rings and set them up at about chest height. From here, we simply want to step away, kneel and twist, and lean into the stretch. Play around with what you feel comfortable with here and adjust the height of the rings based on the level of intensity that you need. Slightly higher around shoulder height for a more intense stretch, closer to the waist to be on the lower side of intensity. You should feel this deeply all up the side that is closest to the floor. And when you're ready, you can swap over to the other side and actually it works really well as a rectus abdominis stretch as well. The next stretch is one that we've spoken about a lot on this channel and is arguably the more intense of the two that we're going to be speaking about today. It is the butcher's block. By kneeling on the ground, resting our elbows on a platform, maintaining a flat back and using a stick to ensure our arms don't collapse inwards, we produce a very intense stretch on the lats. What's great about the butcher's block is that we also get a stretch on our shoulders too. More shoulder flexion range will help with being efficient in any overhead exercise or skill such as pike push-ups or handstands, but also it helps with things like pull-ups as well. In the butcher's block we can play around with spine position too and we can cat and cow as we breathe in and out during this stretch. Crowd, I'd recommend incorporating one or both of these two stretches into your post-workout warm down to get that stretch on the lats, which they definitely need. But if you're looking for a full body, deeply relaxing stretch routine, then check out this video. 